Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute teddy bear. This teddy bear is actually a part of my outfit that I had made in a previous video. I think it was like two previous videos. It's like a whole matching fit. So if you haven't seen that video, get on that. And I will be using the same simplicity pattern that I used to make this bunny for my teddy bear. Please, buddy, find that subscribe button. Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to need for this project is the Simplicity Pattern 9524 or anything similar to this pattern. So we're going to turn it around, and with every pattern, when you're trying to read the pattern, it has a list of A, B, and C, or whatever and whatnot, and it tells you how much fabric you're going to need. So for this project, I'm just going to need one yard of fabric, and I'm going to need some stuffing, 17 ounces or more, more or less, and um, a couple buttons if you want to use buttons like I did or just string to make the nose and the eyes. So I did get the polyfill from Walmart but I'm also going to use all my scrap fabric from like all my projects to stuff it. Alrighty so open the pattern up and for this pattern I'm actually not going to trace it. I'm just going to cut it because it's just like one of those patterns that's like you don't really need to trace. You get me? Because it's not like it's ha it has multiple sizes. If it had multiple sizes then I would trace it. But this is just one of those regular degulars that you really don't have to trace. But if you do want to trace it, you could trace it because this pattern paper doesn't really last as long as it would on paper. So I'm just going to cut out my bare pattern and leave the rest. So once everything has been cut carefully, it should all look like this. And yes, you should cut all the darts. After everything has been cut, now it's time to place it on the fabric and cut it out. So I did not cut the darts on the fabric yet. I'm going to do that towards the end. But what I did is I marked them. So I just marked and pinned it. And I made a little slit there so that way I could remember. So you're just going to get some chalk and just mark it. So once everything is marked, what you're going to do is you're going to sew the darts at the bottom of the bear. So the ones on the feet, we're not going to do that till the very end. So we're just going to pin the bottom of the bear darts. We're not going to do the feet ones. It should now look like this. So since there is a front side and a back side, you're just going to pin both of the front fabrics together and both of the back fabrics together. And you're just going to sew down that middle part. So not the part where their ears and the legs are, but the part where it's like that little lump thing where I'm pointing at. As for the front side, you're going to sew the whole thing all the way down. But for the back side, you're going to sew it and then you're going to leave a little space in the middle. So you're going to leave at least, I want to say, two inches of like not sewn. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to pin everything for the front side so that way you could see. And then I'm going to pin just the back but only half of it and leave the middle open. Alrighty, now that everything is pinned, so see how on the front side I pinned everything down? And then when we go to the back side, I pinned majority of it, but then I left a chunk. So you're going to leave that chunk open. Alrighty, so once everything is pinned down, I'm going to need y'all to start sewing. So you got a back stitch, of course. So for the front part, it's like sewing like normal. And then when I show you the back part, you're going to sew it, back stitch it, and then at that little chunky area where I kind of left the opening, you're going to back stitch it, lift up your foot and then back stitch again and then sew like normal. But you'll see in this video.
Alrighty, so if you sew the back like how I sewed the back, what you're going to do is you're going to cut that string off. Now that both sides are sewn, what you're going to do is you're going to open both sides up and you're just going to pin them together. So it might look a little weird, but um, just flatten it out and then make sure the good sides of the fabric are on the inside. Of, so you're basically going to sandwich the fabrics together, but the good side will, will be on the inside. And once you have everything sandwiched, what you're going to do is you're going to pin all around. But start from pinning the top middles together, so that way at least the middles align perfectly. Alrighty, 5,000 pins later, and now it is time to sew. And yes, that foot dart area, you're going to sew all around it as well. And then I'll show you what to do. So I'm going to start sewing from bottom to top, so I'm going to start like kind of in like the leg region. And then I'm going to make my way all the way back to the lake region. Once everything is sewn, you're going to cut that dart in that little foot area right there like this. And you'll be cutting that for both feet. And once you finish cutting everything, it should now look like this. And it is completely fine that you cut through the threads because you will be sewing them back together. So it'll just all work out in the end. Also, go back and check the whole bear to make sure you sewed everything correct and that there's no holes anywhere. And if there is, go back and sew it. Now it's time to sew the darts and the feet together. So you're going to sew it like how I am showing you right now. So you're going to kind of place it in the middle of each other, but exactly how I'm showing you in this video, I kind of can't describe it, but that's exactly how you're going to sew. You're going to sew right on top of that. Make sure you backstitch and um, make sure like the middles are aligned. Alrighty, so once the feet are sewn, what you're going to do is you're going to make little snips in the bear. So you're not going to cut right through the fabric, but you're just going to make like little snips on the sides, in the arms, basically anywhere that there's a curve. So once everything has been snipped, now it is time to turn the bear inside out. So once everything is turned inside out, now you could slowly start to see the bear forming and taking its shape, and you could see where the front of the bear is and the back of the bear is. So this is now my favorite part where we add the stuffing. So I'm going to do a mix of polyfill and a mix of my scra scrap fabric. And as you can see, I have two things of polyfill because I'm running out of one. So I'm going to try to use less of the polyfill and more of the scrap fabric so that way I could get rid of the scrap fabric. It's so fluffy. Alrighty, so now it's time to stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. Like you stuff in that turkey on Thanksgiving, it is time to stuff. Also, when you're stuffing, make sure you get it like all up in there so that way the bear can take its form and the features of the bear can take its shape.
Alrighty, so once everything is stuffed, what you want to do is you want to close up that back area. So make sure it is stuffed enough to where everything is poking out, but make sure it's not understuffed. Like you see that area is kind of understuffed, so I'm just going to add a little bit more to it. Alrighty, so once it is stuffed to perfection, now it is time to close the back. To close the back, what you're going to want to do is kind of fold in those ends so none of like the raw ends are showing. And then you're just going to pin it to make it easier and we will be sewing it with our hand. And I know if you've seen my previous videos, y'all know I cannot stand hand sewing, but you got to do what you got to do to make it look perfect. Once everything is sewn with a needle and some thread that matches the color of your teddy bear, you're just going to sew. So I don't know what the method of this sewing is called that I'm doing in this video, but if you just watch and follow along, you could do that or you could do any method of sewing because eventually I got tired of doing this one and I just did the regular loop one because either way it's behind the teddy bear nobody will really see it. And this is the easiest way to close off any hand sewn project. So you're just going to sew it through like normal and then there's going to be like a little loop. You're just going to put your thread through that loop and it'll just close off. Cut the excess string and your back is finished. But we are not done here. So if you want to leave it like this and don't want to add an eyes and nose, you don't have to. But if you want to add the eyes and the nose, we have to get... Um, two buttons or two of those eye things and a button nose or you can sew on the nose if you want. But it's just easier to add the buttons to be honest because it's a little more harder to sew on the nose and the eyes than it is just to add the buttons. So I just added the buttons to make it easier for me. And here are the buttons. So I got these cute little white eyes and a cute heart nose button. And I got all these buttons from Walmart. I got the big pack for $9. What you're going to do is you're going to find the perfect placement for the eyes and then you're just going to mark it with a pin and you're going to find like the perfect placement for the nose and then you're just going to mark it with a pin. So once you find that perfect placement what you're going to do is you're just going to sew it on. So unfortunately I don't have a video of me sewing the eyes on but I did sew the nose as you can see and this is what the ending result of your teddy bear should look like. And then I went a step further and I was like let me just add a ribbon to the neck of the teddy bear because I'll look so much cuter and I was totally right because it did look a lot more cuter when I added the ribbon. So I just measured the neck and then I measured a little bit longer and then I just cut the ribbon off and yeah we were good to go. So you could customize the bear to your liking and regardless of what you do it'll probably come out cute. So yeah, so this is basically the end of this tutorial and here are some pictures of me with my full outfit with the matching bear and the hat and the dress and it's just such a cute outfit and such a cute fit. And here is the end result of the bear looking so cute. I love this bear. So I hope you all enjoyed this bear tutorial. And if you haven't seen the video of me making this dress, this mask, and this hat, please tune in to those tutorials. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.